everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Gemma and this is Raining Cats and Bobbins. Um, a warm welcome if you are new here, thank you for joining. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this video and you want to see more um, and hit the like button if you like it. So today is my video is about the March challenge which is hashtag so frugal 22. Uh, hopefully you already know about this and you've already watched some vlogs going on there's been a lot of vlogs about it this year already so this is the creation of um ruan from the yorkshire so girl and sam from frugalissima i am going to try and link everything mentioned down below or anything i forget to mention etc so just check the um, comments box below Last year, they did the challenge called Frugal Frocks, uh, which obviously was just dresses. Uh, you just um, make up a, a free dress pattern, uh, fabric from your stash, and you make up in the month, month of March and reveal it at the end. But to make it more inclusive this year, they've decided that it can be any garment. Um, so, but it has to be like for yourself or for someone else, not for your pet. <laughs> um, uh, so it can be a, a t-shirt, a shirt, trousers, skirt, dress, whatever. But it does need to be a free pattern. Also this year, they're changing it so that it can't be a pattern that comes from a book. For example, like Tilly and the Buttons, like the stretch book or whichever, you know, her other ones, you get the patterns included with it. But it can't be one of those. And it also can't be a pattern that you receive with a magazine. That's just because if you think of all around the world, not everyone has access to these books or magazines. So to make this as inclusive as possible, it has to be completely free and available to everyone. That pretty much means it needs to be a, a digital download off of the internet. So you can get... Um, Um, you'll find most designers um, have perhaps at least one free pattern available on their website. So visit some of your favourites, see what they've got, and then you can use that. And then the fabric needs to be from your stash. Um, obviously, bear in mind that if you don't have a, a very large stash, you can use um, bed sheets, you can use curtains, you could repurpose something else. Um, so there's, there are options out there. Now, I, the challenge this year obviously you have to sew up in the month of may and the reveal date is the 31st it is an instagram challenge so you do need to have um, an instagram account it apparently doesn't have to be a public account if you have a private account i think what you do is you screenshot it to sam and ruan and or something like that but do check their channels their videos like they've got some t's and c's do double check that because i i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure that's what you do um but otherwise um you would tag sam and uh, ruan in your picture in your reveal use the hashtag so frugal 22 and that's for the 31st of march now if you want to show your progress or share your progress on instagram then you can do but please use a different hashtag so frugal whip wip i'm pretty sure that's right i will pop it down below if i've got it wrong but it's just so they don't have to trawl through lots of like sleeve heads and neck bands and whatever on the final reveal date it'll just be the finished garment so please don't be that person use the correct hashtags they're down below so it's easy peasy so yeah i think that's it kind of it with those rules um they have created some graphics for us to use so i will put them to the side just so you can see it just gives all the uh the explanation and rules etc there's also some images of the different companies that are um, joining in with regards to prizes because it is a challenge so there are prizes so uh, yeah so there's um uh, sam is also i think sharing every day on her channel as to what the price is going to be from those companies so check out their channels there is a lot of vloggers uh taking part to give inspiration etc this time um, in this challenge i think it's something like 70 or maybe just over so it basically means there are two vloggers per day which is phenomenal and so 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 much information to give you so that's going to be so many different 
patterns and ideas. Now, um, I'm <laughs> I'm just going to use the notes that I've got on my iPad just to make sure I don't miss anything. This is my third time recording this because I keep missing stuff. So I'm going to try and be really, and that, that was with using this as well, and I still managed to miss stuff. So I'm going to try, try and be really careful and just check what I'm mentioning. So there's a couple of other bits. So a couple of uh, companies are offering something to go towards this challenge. For example, Size Me Sewing is giving their Florence Boxy Tea for free if you use the code Frugal Tea, and you can download that before the 30th of March. So if you can't think of anything else you want to make, right there you've got a t-shirt uh, top that you can make just using that. And then also um, Fabricate Murfield is offering a 20% discount on AO printing with code SoFrugal22, uh, which is fantastic. Um, if like me, you don't have a printer at home and you have to get your PDF patterns uh, printed by someone else, then, you know, there's a fabulous option. Now, as I said, there are two vloggers per day. So I'm just going to give a shout out to the vloggers that are well, on yesterday, that are on tomorrow and are sharing uh, today with me. So yesterday, and again, I'll link them down below. So go and watch the videos. Uh, yesterday, it was the, um, it was Kath um, from Made by Kath Craft, Sherry from Granny's Sewing Room, um, and then tomorrow it is Cara from So So Mad and Hattie from Handmade by Hattie. So check out those lovely ladies, fabulous ideas. I love their plans. Um, I'm loving everyone's plans, to be honest. It's just amazing. Um, and then today is the lovely Rachel from The French Seams. So she'll be also uploading a video today with her plan. So please do go and check her out as well. So yeah, fabulous. Um, I have a few ideas uh, that I'm going to share with you. I've picked, um, I've got, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five. I've got six on my list that I'm going to share with you today. Three of those are ones that I do have and one of them I've made before. And then a couple of others are just other ideas. I just wanted to use some that I have either have already because it's options that I'm thinking of making for myself for you know for the challenge and have a bit more experience with and then obviously some others as well now because there are so many vloggers taking part um there's gonna be repeats I'm so sorry like they they just is you know there are I mean there are lots of free sewing patterns but at the same time there are lots of youtubers giving out multiple ideas. So you are going to hear repeats. I do apologise. I do already know that, um, although I've not managed to watch everyone's videos, I do already know that some of the ones that I'm mentioning are repeats. <laughs> um, I watched um, Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door and she mentioned a couple of ones that I um, was going to mention. I did think about changing it, but because they're ones, they're patterns that I have and are and <laughs> thinking about using, I'm still going to mention them. So I do apologise if you've heard this before, but yeah, there you go. Uh, so um, let me just grab them. Oh, two seconds. I've already put one away because of how many times I've recorded this. Two seconds. Luckily, I'm quite lazy and I've just put it on the shelf rather than properly away. So let me just prop this up so I can read this without having to keep picking it up. <laughs> oh, I will mention um, that the what I've used on my iPad for making the notes for this is an app that I've started using on recommendation from my nephew's lovely partner, Bonnie. Uh, it's called Notion. I haven't heard anyone else in the sewing community mention Notion, so I will do a video about it and see if I can try and bring Notion to the sewing community because I love it. Uh, I've mentioned before where I was going to try and like use notebooks or planners or whatever for my makes and you know etc etc i just for some reason i can't get behind that even though i love pen and paper like i'm a real advocate for still using pen and paper 
um, I just couldn't for these plans. I don't know why. I just had such a block with doing that. But this I've just taken to a duck like water. I love it. So thank you, Bonnie. Um, we've actually now become a Notion family, not sponsored, by the way, but um, we all use it and it's fantastic. I use it not only for like sewing, but I use it for like finances and just life in general to be honest and I love it it's so good so yeah I will do um, a video just to give you a sort of a, a show around and then if it's something that you want to use you can it is free um, to a certain degree and then there is like if you want extra capacity if you want to put documents and stuff on there is a charge I'm just using the free one for now because that does me I've even logged my fabrics on there it's amazing I love it um, okay so sorry back to what we were talking about uh, my first idea, not idea, first pattern, if you like, is the um, Tasuti Fabrics Mandy Boat Tea, which is this one. So it does have a drop sleeve um, just to here. It's quite a relaxed fit, as you can see. It's not sort of form fitting. And uh, the sleeves, I mean, to be honest, I think they look a little bit short on her, but you know, they are fairly long sleeves. Now this, I haven't actually tried this yet. I actually am not that keen on boat neck. Um, necklines so what I would probably do with this is hack it so that the neckline is something that I like now I would probably use the neckline from the Shona top and obviously that's not a free pattern and it's actually not even available anymore so I didn't feel that that was really right for me to do like in this challenge um, so that's not one that I'm going to do but just to let you know that this is a free pattern now I have gone on to all these websites just to see what else they have available, like if they have any other free patterns. And in total, Tasuti Fabrics, as far as I could see, had five patterns for free available on their website, which I think is really, really good. So the next one, and this is one that I am thinking of making and have made before, is the Itch to Stitch Uvita Top. So that's this one. Now still has a little bit of a drop sleeve, not quite as long, and um, is a bit more form fitting. I feel that this could lend itself to um, sort of a t-shirt or even more jumper type fabric. You could make it into a bit of a cozy jumper. I'll go through my fabrics at the end. I think I'll go through them at the end. Yes. So let's just discuss patterns for now. So yeah, this is the Itch to Stitch Uvita Top. And yeah, this is the one I've made already. And I did like it. It is, I know, I know, it is a bit boat necky. And I do find when I wear the top, I am pulling it down a lot because it sort of comes to about here. So I do keep sort of like pulling it down a little bit. And I'm pretty sure if I remember rightly, I bought it in at the sides a bit because it was just too far over and it was showing my bra straps. And that just doesn't, it's just not a look that I like. I just don't need my bra straps on show. So and I don't know why they make them so wide, like why? But never mind, because I'm making it, that's something that I can sort, you know. So yeah, um, that is one that I am thinking of making. Um, another pattern, and this was recently acquired for this challenge. Um, yeah, for this challenge, but um, I heard about it because they emailed me um, to say, oh, have you seen that we have a free pattern? Now, I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning, for some of these free patterns, it may be that to get them, you have to um, sign up to a newsletter on their website. Um, I don't know that there's that many that just say, hey, yeah, just have this free pattern. Normally, it's kind of like a, well, you sign up to us so we can send you some stuff, you know, and you can have this free pattern. And why not? Because quite often you get told about gems like these. And it could be that like if ever they're having a sale or discounts and stuff, you get those emailed to you. And who doesn't want to know about that? No one. So, yeah, this was emailed to me because I was subscribed to their newsletter and they were like, oh, have you heard about our free pattern? And I was like, no, I have not. Thank you. I'll take that. Because uh, And then I was like, oh, yeah, this will be great for the challenge. And I really like it. I think it's a lovely top. Now, this is also a drop sleeve top. I'm obviously in some sort of drop sleeve top frame of mind at the moment <laughs> but why not um yeah so it's by the avid seamstress drop sleeve top and i think it's really really lovely now as i said i don't have a printer at home so i can't print these off myself i would have to pay to get them printed ao size and i do prefer to have the instructions printed as well i like to have a physical copy of the instructions 
Now, when I was downloading the um, the pattern, there was an option on there for them to print it because that's a, a service that they now offer. And you can print just the pattern or the pattern and the instructions. Now, I decided to have both done. Why not? So it was six pounds to, I'm pretty sure it was six pounds to get them printed. So that is obviously you don't have to pay that. If you can print it at home, you can do that and then it's completely free. But I chose to pay the six pounds to get everything printed for me and just make it nice and easy. So yeah, so, and I don't feel that that's too much for a pattern and instructions and get, you know, having it all sent to me. Um, so I feel that that's still quite frugal, especially because I don't have the means to print it. So yeah, so that's a pattern that I'm also thinking of making. I am wondering if I can try and make both. I know it's it's a stretch because we all know what I'm like, like a, a, a tortoise can sew faster than me, but you never know. This could be the time that I could actually make two garments in one month. We'll see. Okay, so that's it for patterns that I actually physically have. But a couple of others, well, actually one more pattern that I am aware of. I mean, I'm, I'm aware of many, but another one that I had thought about, and actually my friend Trudy told me about this pattern, and it's called the Adult Yoggers, and that is by Petite Stitchery. Um, I just want to say, I didn't actually look to see if the Avid Seamstress did, had any more free patterns on their website, so I do apologise. I'm not sure if they do or not. If I can, I will go and have a quick look and I'll pop it down below or here or somewhere. But um, yeah, so I don't know why I didn't think of that. Anyway, yeah, so Adult Yoggers by The Petite Stitchery. Now, they're kind of like a jogging bottom. I assume, I mean, there must have been a description and I've just forgotten or didn't read it. But I assume it's kind of like a cross between yoga pants and joggers. Yoggers? It makes sense, right? So that's what I'm thinking that it is but don't hold me to it. I could have just made that up. But yeah, um, they look super, super cosy. I definitely do want to make these up at some point because I would like to get just some nice loungewear in my wardrobe. And I have actually seen some fabric that I quite like for it as well. So that might have to happen at some point soon. I mean, I say soon, you know, maybe sometime this year, <laughs> ready for next winter. Anyway, yeah, so they look really, really cosy. I love the look of them. Um, on the Petite Stitchery website, they actually have two pages of free patterns, which is fantastic. Some of them are children, some of them are adults, so it's a bit of a mixed bag. But yeah, really, really fantastic. Um, and I think it was different types of garments as well, like tops, dresses, whatever. So definitely check them out. I've never made anything from them and I don't think that I had heard of them before that I can think of. But, you know, I'm definitely going to be checking them out because I really want to have a go with those yoggers. <laughs> OK, so that's it pattern wise. Um, but a couple of other things that I wanted to mention is one is um, use your own clothes. If you have a favourite T-shirt, skirt, something that you really, really like, try to use that as a pattern. Um, whether you take it apart, if say it's really old and you're like, I'm gonna throw this out, wait, don't throw it out, unstitch it all and use those pieces to create a pattern. Um, there are gonna be lots and lots of videos on YouTube showing you how to do that. So, you know, that's definitely something that's available to everyone. Anyone can do that. If you, you know, you've got a garment that you, fits well already you're basically just tra tracing around it and allowing for any darts etc um you obviously make it simple on yourself and just do like a t-shirt or something but um yeah it's that's something that's available to everyone and you don't pay for that you know find some paper like old christmas paper or something like that that you can use to to trace on so you're not even sort of spending out for that and then obviously stitch it up with some fabric in your stash um, so that's a you know obviously a, a fantastic way to do it. Um, another way, if you want to skip even making a pattern, is that you can just do it directly onto fabric, and that's something that I found on. I mean, obviously was aware about it, but a channel was recommended to me on YouTube, and or a particular pattern. I was like, oh, I really love the look of that pattern. It was like a jackety type 
throw on thing and um i watched the video and i watched some of her other videos and she just made it look so easy it was literally like fold it this way cut this many centimeters or inches and you fold here tuck here sew here cut here and suddenly you have this fabulous garment and i was just like i want to do that I didn't use a pattern or anything like that you're literally just doing it straight onto the fabric now the channel was called um mia diy clothing i will um pop it down below there are going to be a lot of channels like hers where you know you where they're just literally doing it straight onto the fabric so if you want to cut out the step of creating a pattern out of your own clothing you know you can go straight on to working onto fabric they are going to be fairly roomy type clothing i imagine i mean i might maybe that's not right maybe there are going to be some more fitted ones but i imagine the sort of bigger roomier clothing is probably a little bit easier you know for, you know for fitting etc um but yeah so i feel that that's also a really fantastic and it's something that's open to everyone so everyone can do that and again it doesn't cost it's just using fabric in your stash and you're just you know going straight to it you know with you know making up a garment with the fabric straight away so yeah so that's i thought also a really fantastic way to do it so as i said i'll pop it down below so that's my suggestions ideas inspiration things to you <laughs> so give them a, a like check them out have a look see what you think and um yeah then obviously you know if you want to make one of those fantastic but as i said there are so many vloggers taking part and there's going to be so much inspiration so yeah if you want to have a look then really go for it now i'm just going to quickly show you the fabrics that i picked for these two because i did find fabric for both of them now when i went through my fabric stash to put it onto my notion um i realized a i actually don't really have that much fabric and b most of them are spoken for um like i've already thought of patterns i want to make from them so um i've tried to pick pieces that i don't have an i you know i don't have any ideas what i want to make from it yet so i've been left with two fabrics i did have some others which i had originally pulled out but i figure as i'm not going to use them there's no point just showing and be like i was going to use this but now i'm not like just you know whatever so i'm just get all the extra pattern pieces out of the way for the um uvita top i was thinking of using this gorgeous fabric now this is coming up i think a little bit darker than it actually is in real life um i would say it's quite a christmas green <laughs> um it was really nice i love it i got this when i went on holiday in poland quite a few years ago now and it's quite like a knitted um like a jumpery tight knitted fabric um it feels super soft and i think that'll make a really really cozy more like a jumper type top using this pattern and i have laid the pattern pieces out I can just about fit it because I think I've only got a metre, maybe a metre and a half of this. I think maybe a metre. Um, but I think I can just fit that on. So, and I have no other plans for this. Um, so why not? And especially because it is still so cold here at the moment. I'm sick of the cold. So I need, I need more jumpers, obviously. Now for the drop sleeve top, I'll show you that again this is what i found and again i had no i actually kind of forgot that i had this and i have no plans for it so i figure i'm gonna try it with this for this pattern and this one i believe is from a shop down walthamstow market somewhere down there i'm, I'm not sure which one and again that was that was years ago so let me sorry i'm just trying to make sure i've got the right side because one side has um sort of like a metallic effect to it so let me just let me just hold it up let me just make sure i've got it around the right way here i've got that around the wrong way here we go there yes just sort of looking at the birds which way around they are um so we share it's this so it is um super super drapey it's got a nice sort of silky feel to it like satiny whatever and yeah some of like the birds i don't know where it's really going to show up has a bit of a metallic glint to it um, so I think that's really pretty. There was one fabric I was going to use that was very similar to this, but I do have that earmark for something else and I think it will look better. So I thought I'm going to go with this and just see how it goes. Because as I said, I, I don't know what else to make with this. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit worried with how 
swooshy it is but i do have some spray starch i'll do just a little tiny piece just to see how it reacts to it and then if needs be i can use that whilst i'm sort of cutting it out but yeah so that is the fabrics that i'm thinking of using so um yeah i'm pretty sure i have mentioned everything i'm just going to double check because i really don't have time to record this again because i want to get all this cut out and made up like in time for my release you know to get it all done so let's have a look yes i've mentioned everything hurrah fabulous okay i mean but obviously if i've even forgotten to note it down on my list and i've so i've forgotten i will put it below but i would basically say go and check out uh ruan and sam's videos actually they did a q a one evening to answer obviously everyone's questions etc and that's on sam's channel so you might want to go and have a look at that because if you do have any questions go and see if it's been answered there if it hasn't and you still have questions then just just message them you know they honestly won't mind they are lovely lovely ladies and i'm just so excited to be part of this challenge with them it's just this is like the first challenge i've done in i don't know how long like a long time you know you know it's been a long time if you've been watching my channel for any length of time it's it's been ages so yeah so i'm really excited to get these done and i really want to do both so i'm gonna see how it goes so um yeah so let me know are you taking part in this challenge and if you are what are you making and what are the patterns that you've come across you know either from yourself looking or from watching some of the vlogs that you didn't know about and that you really love I have come across two others, which I didn't mention today, but I'm pretty sure other people have mentioned them um, from Peppermint Magazine. And I've already downloaded them and they are getting made at some point. I just need to see if I've got some fabric and, you know, that I either will get for them, already have, and I need to get them printed off. So, you know, that will come later on. But yeah, I've already seen some more, like just from watching all these vlogs. Um, so yeah, there's so much available. But yeah, let me know. What are you, what are you making? What have you found? What have you discovered that maybe hasn't been mentioned yet? Ha is there anything? Could there be anything we've not mentioned yet? Just don't know. But if so, pop it down below. Let everyone know unless you're trying to be sneaky to keep it to yourself and see if that gives you an edge to win the challenge could that be a thing i don't know <laughs> i assume it's just random pickings i don't know anyway best of luck um i hope you win i hope i win i hope we all win we're all winners we'll all have a fabulous garment at the end of this so we are all winners so there you go i'm looking forward to the reveal date to see what everyone's made so excited for that um I'm, i can't remember whether it's a a weekday if it's a weekday i'll be at work i'll have to wait till i finished but yeah so um best of luck um enjoy your makes comment down below and i'll see you on the 31st bye